guys, welcome back to Cummins Repower Garage. I'm Steve Sanders, joined with Brittany Barella, here to talk about your R2.8 Crate Engines oil system. So the oil filter, as the engine gets shipped, is attached to the back of your flywheel housing via this black bracket. Uh, you're going to want to remove that bracket once you are ready to actually set up your oil system. This is not the permanent location of that oil filter, so you're going to want to uh, unattach that and mount your oil filter and head uh, vertically on your chassis somewhere, kind of in the engine compartment or on, or on the chassis or frame. Uh, the oil filter that comes with the engine is the largest that we offer with the R2.8, so it's going to have the longest oil change interval and the highest capacity. That oil change interval is typically anywhere around 6,200 miles, 250 hours, or three months, depending on your duty cycle. You know, if you're just using this as a daily driver, you're probably going to get more miles out of it versus if you're taking your vehicle off-road and doing a lot of rock crawling, that mileage is going to be lower, but your hour count is going to be higher. So you're really going to want to kind of take that into account when you're trying to decide your oil change interval. Other options that you have are we have some other filters that are usable with this engine, so LF16. 229 is one option that you can use. Um, you can see it's a little bit shorter than the uh, filter that we provide with the engine. Um, so that will help if you have a little bit of fitment issues when you're trying to find somewhere to mount this. Um, you have this option for a filter that you can purchase from parts.cummins.com. Uh, another option you have is LF16121. Again, it's actually a lot shorter than the one that comes on the engine. Uh, this one does have half the flow rate of the, the filter that comes stock, so it is cutting that down, but it is still enough for the engine. So we do approve the use of this filter, but this is going to significantly impact that oil change interval. So whatever it was before, definitely take that into account. You're going to have to do this or change your filter a lot more often if you're choosing to use this smaller filter. Uh, the max temperature that you're going to want to run your oil on your engine is 275 degrees F. And for pressure, uh, the engine comes equipped with a pressure switch. So even if it's broadcasting a pressure, as long as it sees a pressure high enough, it's going to broadcast 44 PSI. Um, and then if it drops too low and it needs to send kind of a warning, it's going to flip basically to off until you have low oil pressure. So if you're, if you're out outputting that signal to like a gauge on your dash, it's never going to change from 44 until you drop below the acceptable oil pressure. Yeah, so if you don't want that kind of just generic 44 PSI signal and you'd feel more comfortable uh, having either your factory dash uh, gauge read something or you want to add another auxiliary gauge, if you follow this upper uh, remote mount line back to the front cover, you see a port up here. This is an M10-1 port. If you want to run your factory oil pressure gauge, uh, you can tee the sending unit into this. If you want to add an auxiliary temp gauge for whatever you think your duty cycle uh, might be doing, and if you want to know about what that oil uh, temperature is doing, that's where you could do it. Uh, we do have this oil cooler here, so odds are you're not going to get into any trouble with the temperature. But for more about the installation in a vehicle, let's go back to our half Jeep display. So as Brittany said, we do ship the filter on a bracket that you can uh, discard. The filter is shipped horizontally, but we recommend that you mount it vertically. Uh, this helps with optimal performance of the filter, as well as keeping it pretty clean when you're changing uh, your oil. We have it shown here with the factory length lines. Uh, you can shorten these lines. However, if you're not a professional, since these are high pressure lines, we ask that you use a professional to do that. We also advise that you do not lengthen these lines because that would add a bit more strain on that oil pump. If you have the system open and you take these lines off, either for your installation or to take them out in town and have them shortened, make sure you cap off the ports that you leave open just to keep that shop debris out of your system. When it's time to fill your oil, we recommend Valvoline Premium Blue. Uh, 15W40 is good for most temperature uh, ranges. If you're in an extreme cold climate for an extremely uh, long amount of time, a long winter, uh, you might want to change the weight on that. Uh, but the really important thing here to note is the CK-4 rating. Uh, that means that this oil is uh, really clean, uh, it's got the right amount of ash content, and it'll be perfect for the longevity of your engine. Lastly, you've got your oil, you've got your system, it's time to fill it. So take your 15W40, put it in, you've got a 5 liter pan capacity. Uh, from low to high on your dipstick is one liter and depending on what you did with uh, your oil filter selection and line length you're going to want to let that oil settle, check it, and top it off as needed. So I think that's it for this edition of Cummins Repower Garage. Join us next time.